continuing the developing story on Phoenix Suns owner Robert Sarver, who is accused of overseeing an organization that many employees have described as toxic and sometimes hostile. Reporting from ESPN's Baxter Holmes reveals Holmes interviewed with more than 70 former and current Suns employees who've been a part of the team throughout Sarver's 17-year tenure and alleged he has used racially insensitive and lewd language repeatedly in the office. The Suns host the Rockets tonight in downtown Phoenix before getting a visit from the Hawks on Saturday. We now welcome in Brian Windhorst, who is in Phoenix. And Brian, the Suns actually put out a statement 13 days ahead of this reporting being published. And you've been with the team basically since then. What have the players been preparing for? Yeah, Malika, that um, put him into a bit of a stressful situation. Um, that came out uh, two weeks ago tomorrow, and they, uh, they've been here in Phoenix for about a week and a half. They've had a long homestand, and during that time, they've been preparing for this day. And in talking to some of the players, one of the things that they've been saying is, Go back to what we did in the 2020 uh, bubble in Orlando when all the stress that they had associated with that, you were there every moment of it. You certainly know how stressful it was. They got into a bunker mentality, didn't let uh, the other things that were dangerous and, 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 and could distract them get in their way, and they went 8-0. And, oh. and that is what it, you know, they have talked about as they have uh, prepared for this moment. They have not played well early in this season. You know, They're trying to get the rhythm back that they had on their run to the finals, and this, uh, you know, hanging over their heads for the last uh, week and a half or two um, has not helped the situation. Yeah, that has to be a challenge. You'll be in the arena tonight. What are you watching for and, and possibly even expecting, Brian? Right, so Monty Williams uh, elected not to make a comment when others did uh, when the Suns first made the statements. And so as the voice of the organization and one of the, you know, the leaders certainly in this whole league, uh, how he treats this and how he evaluates this ahead of this game tonight will set the tone not only for his team but for reactions elsewhere. So the way Monty, um, you know, re reacts to this is going to be very important. And then uh, after the game, we're expecting to see and hear from Chris Paul and Devin Booker, again, two players whose voices matter a lot, both in Phoenix and outside Phoenix. And, you know, so not all the players who are here um, were here when some of the allegations happened uh, that Baxter Holmes wrote about in this story. But Devin Booker, one of the longest tenured sons, has been. So in addition to the, to the, the gravity of a player like Chris Paul, what Devin Booker says is also going to be important. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us, Brian. Some of the key headlines of Baxter's story surround alleged misogyny and include the following. A former female marketing employee said Sarver would frequently use inappropriate language such as, do I own you? Are you one of mine? Said the employee, he makes you feel like you belong to him. I didn't want to be alone with him at any point. And Sarver, through his legal team, denied using such language, quote, the level of misogyny and racism is beyond the pale, said one son's co-owner about Sarver. It's embarrassing as an owner. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.